All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So iPhone people, yes. The short answer is yes. Yes, you can use this watch with your iPhone. This works with any iPhone. And I guess iPhone people are using, asking that question because they want to see, hey, how much better is it than an Apple Watch? Well, I can tell you this. The functionality is completely different than the Apple Watch. This watch is definitely get around fitness, predominantly fitness, but it does receive text messages, phone calls, you can call from the watch. All of these things are still the same. It's just a different piece of hardware and software. Better hardware, I might add, and really good software in comparison. One of the main things you'll notice about this watch over an Apple watch is that it costs a heck of a lot less. This watch is only 200 bucks and there are a lot of advantages of using an Amazfit over an Apple watch with an Apple phone. The first thing I wanna talk about, obviously, I just said it, which is price. The next thing is the battery life. You will not get five to 10 days of battery life out of any Apple watch. How do I know that? Because I bought several and I have several and I've broken several, but this watch right here is definitely better than any Apple watch I've ever used. I like the hardware better. As you can see, you can still get those same type of bands through Amazfit with, with, um, that you get through Apple. They can also be changed. You can see there's an easy way to change the band. No problem whatsoever. You've got sub several watch faces and this one locks onto GPS very well. If you haven't seen my GPS test, check that out. It does very well. It has maps. It has everything you can think of. You can put apps on here. You can store, you can do a whole bunch with this watch, just like any other watch. But again, this one costs less and it works with an iPhone. So, so many people were worried that I got flooded with that question. Does it work with an iPhone? And yes, it does folks. You just need the Zep app. So you go into your phone and you download the Zep app, which is right here. You load it up. The watch syncs. It's very simple. You click on your profiles. You can see I have tons of GTR uh, watches and Amazfit products. And I took this watch off the charger roughly four, five, six hours ago, maybe. Uh, and it's still at 99%. It was at 100, but it recently just dropped to 99%. Um, and it's just good. So there's a lot that you can do with this watch. As you can see, phone call. The basics are just right out here. Music, phone calls, weather. SMS, short, anything you can possibly think of, you can do it with this watch. So you can also change the watch faces and things like that. There's a ton of watch faces in here. I will be doing a separate video on the watch faces. I've gotten a lot of requests for that. And I think I'll go ahead and break it down for you and give you a watch face video from Amazfit. I've actually done that before, uh, but I think some of you guys might've missed it. I forgot which video it's in, but I broke down a whole bunch of these watch faces. But as you can see, there are a ton of them. There's a boatload of them. And you, you hit more and go into the selection or the category from watch for watch faces. But this does work with an iPhone and it's very simple. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's a great watch with an iPhone and I would recommend it over an Apple Watch on its worst day if you want me to be honest. And remember, I have Apple Watches, so I'm not being biased in any kind of way because I love iPhones and I love the Apple Watches, but they're just not good on battery. And I find myself charging them nearly every day. Now, battery life is where this will differ from a lot of smartwatches out there. This particular watch right here, now my Amazfit lineup, normally, most of the Amazfit watches that I have last me for probably mm, seven to, 12 days. This one, on the other hand, I don't know what it is, but this watch right here is the only watch where I cannot get, well, at, at this point, I can't say, I'm not going to say I cannot get, I have not gotten 10 days out of this watch. And, and you might think, well, whoa, Jay, you, you're getting just under 10 days battery life out of this thing? Well, I mean, it's an Amazfit watch, so it has fantastic battery. Most of their watches, nearly all of them, have great battery leg. So, uh, battery life, battery life. So, uh, most of my watches from Maze Fit average about seven to 14 days. Some of them get 10 to 20 days. And then I have one that actually goes 30 days. Uh, and that is the Amazfit Neo. So if you want to watch, it's like a retro style watch, like the Casio's, remember those? So if you want to watch that lasts you for 30 days or more, get the Neo and it's very affordable too. So this is the setup here that you can go through to look at all your apps and all the things you have on your watch. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple and intuitive. You can actually change this style. 
and you can get to settings by swiping down and going in right here or you can go back to settings uh, and go the other way uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to get into settings uh, but if you choose to get into settings from here you scroll down and there is settings because you can change the way you don't have to have it up and down like that you can have it with the I started off I don't know if you remember uh, the layout uh, I had it in uh, the uh, little circular design and I forgot where I changed that at. I think it was under uh, where was it at control center where was it at no no this is the control center that's the swipe down menu right there but this this watch has a lot of uh, here we go list style this this is the way you can have it right there there you go so if I hit it now, it should have switched. Now you have it like this. Really cool, all your apps on here. That is very cool. But anyway, uh, battery life on this thing is, I gotta be one of my number one questions that people keep asking and folks, the battery life is fine. There's nothing wrong with the battery life on this device. It just doesn't get as long a battery life as my um, other Amazfit watches. As a matter of fact, I think this is the only watch that does not get more than that where I haven't achieved more than 10 days. Now, granted, um, I haven't had to watch that long. So uh, the GTR 4 hasn't been out that long. Uh, so right now, I think I've gotten about five consecutive days of battery life with this thing. Uh, and then I put it on the charger. So I'm thinking maybe, hmm. Maybe after about a month or two, it'll break in probably. It'll figure out my usage because all the I've been changing the watch face like every few days. I don't know what it is. I'm getting a lot of notifications too. Uh, but the point is, it is flowing right along flawlessly. And you're thinking, I don't know if you're thinking, Jay, you're getting fi officially, officially five days on here. That's fantastic battery. Not a lot of smart watches from these premium brands like Samsung. My, my Galaxy Watch uh, Pro 5 Pro it does not get, <laughs> it does not get five days. It gets three days and it costs double the price. And then Apple watches can be the, it could be cost of both of these together can equal one Apple watch, depending on what you're buying. Now Apple watches cost roughly the same as the Galaxy watches, uh, three to 500 bucks or so. But the Galaxy watches don't have a watch that's over 400, I believe. It was like 429 or something, that's for the cellular model. But this watch right here, uh, the, and another thing, Macefit doesn't have any cellular models, so to speak. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a cellular model, but I will say that you can, if you get a GTR mode, like if you get the GTR SE or the, all the, some of the other ones that are not the official GTR or GTS, they can't, they can't make phone calls from the watch. This can make phone calls from the watch. I can send text messages from here. I can pretty much do anything that I can do on my phone from this watch. Some of the ones that don't have that ability, the only thing you can do is reject the call or answer the call, but it won't be on the watch. You got to get it on the phone or some of them just have reject the call. But overall folks, it's been a good experience. I'm not mad at five to 10 days of battery so far, you know, five days officially. Uh, but I'm not mad at that. I just think that uh, this is such a good watch. Apple people, you really should give it a try. You're not missing out on anything because you'll be able to get a really solid experience with this watch. And I think you'll be impressed with the heart rate monitor, the fitness version of it, the EKG. Now listen, there'll be some people to say, oh, does it have fall detection? Does it have this? Does it have that? No, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a lot of the same. Just don't think about your Apple watch and get into the functionality of this watch. Because sometimes people are so into what they currently have, they don't give anything else a chance. This does have a lot of functionality though. Uh, it's just a matter of, you digging in and getting it. So you've got a lot of fitness. Uh, it it kind of gears around fitness and because um, this has over 100, uh, 100 uh, workout apps. And then there's tons of other things. Now, the reason I don't like it like this is because I can't see the labels uh, of the uh, things that I'm looking at. And I don't have time to try to remember what they are. So let's go back to classic here. There we go. See here, you've got heart rate, blood oxygen, one tap measure is really nice. Workout, workout history, workout status, stress level, activity, sleep, phone, uh, members card. You know, obviously that's something that most people probably won't use because it's kind of a, a, a maze fit thing. You could use it. I don't use it, I'll say. Uh, but you got weather, music, you, all these things you can control. Alarm, 
calendar, you got your settings, moon, sun, threat, compass, barometer, cycle tracker, and obviously that's for women, because you know Apple always talks about that they have something for women. That was one in their big announcement. That was one of the main things they kept talking about is, oh, we're taking care of the woman and, you know, okay, I get you. Well, they have it too. You got your breathing, stopwatch, countdown, find my phone, world clock to do, voice memos. A whole bunch of things are on here. Uh, and I, I just believe that if Apple people, and I'm speaking not just to Apple people, but I'm speaking to people in general who keep questioning me about this watch, asking me, is it worth it? Or can you compare it to this? Folks, I, I'm just here to set a little bit of foundation for you you need to try these things yourself. I cannot force you to go out and buy something. You have to try them for yourself. You need to remember that. This is just a show and tell of a product, giving you my experience on it. And all of our experiences are going to be different. Now, one reason why the battery life probably dies sooner because I have it set to not time out in 15 seconds, I believe. I think I moved it up one notch, I'm not sure. Uh, but the watch is great, man. So if you're wondering about this watch, it may not be, I may not be getting the 10 day, over five days, like over seven days right now, but I'm sure it'll break in and I'll get really good battery. And uh, iPhone people, again, this kind of was geared towards you, but it was also a follow-up video on the watch. Give it a shot. 199 bucks compared to some of your other watches. And again, I know there'll be people out there that say, I can get an iPhone, Apple Watch SC or I can do this. You can. But I know there's a lot of people that are, that are Apple users that have an iPhone that don't want those watches because the batteries don't last as long. Oh, they may have the functionality to make it work flawlessly with Apple phones, but this works flawlessly with, flawlessly with Apple phones too. No problems whatsoever. No disconnects. Everything is flowing right along. So if you're one of those people who were wondering, should I get this watch? Is it worth it? After you buy it, you'll tell everybody else on your page if you think it's worth it. That's what you should do. Because me, I'm telling you my experience, and I don't think we're going to have the same experience in every area. One, You might be getting 12 days of battery, and I may be getting 7 overall average. So, it's up to you to determine whether you want to buy this watch or not. But Android users, for sure, this is one of the best options you can get for an Android watch. Uh, because it's packing a lot of punch, and the battery life is great. So, I'll follow up with a watch face video. I just wanted to tell you guys how my battery life was and get to those iPhone people that were wondering, should you should I get this? Is it worth getting? Can it does it work with an iPhone? Yes. Shaman J, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.